Hey everybody and welcome back to the Board Game Spotlight. I'm Derek. And I'm Lizzie. And tonight we are playing Tarji from Cosmos. And we're playing the new expansion. Yes, Sand Dune. Pretty excited about this. Very we, excited. We've played the expansion now. And if you liked the original Tarji, this makes it better, which is surprising. I didn't think that it could get better. I mean, the game has been one of our our really favorite, you know, and I was thinking about this because we just did our top 10 like two player games and this didn't make the list. How did make the list? I don't know. I think it's like one of those games that's been around for so long that we don't play it often because we've had it for so long. But whenever we play it, I'm always like, I just think to myself, wow, that was really good. Was it in the small games covered? Yeah. That's also why. It also was in our small games covered. So it was kind of. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. However, man, this expansion has reinvigorated my love for this game. I'm like, wow. Um, so we're gonna kind of give you a brief overview of how the game works. No in Tarji, uh, it is a two player only game. Mm -hmm. And we're playing this because we took a poll over in our Facebook community and they requested that we play Tarji as one of the top three requests. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's perfect. That's awesome. Cause we'd gotten the expansion and mm -hmm. what better time to take care of that. So Lizzie is playing as uh, blue. I'm playing as white. We are going to take turns placing our Tarji characters on the outside border of this play area. And what we're trying to do is we're creating intersections. Mm -hmm. So if I were to place here, and then if I were to place here, the intersection, the card that I am claiming would be here. Mm -hmm. uh, now there's a few things that you, you have to keep in mind. You can't place where the robber is currently located in the first round, he'll go to the noble card. You also cannot place across from your opponent, um, but you may play like across from your own if you want to. However, realize that you're gonna have one less intersection because mm -hmm. this still only makes one intersection. And you can't place two of your circle cubes on the same place. Correct. Um, and what we're doing is we're gaining, these are, it's kind of like an action selection worker placement uh, mm -hmm. in a way, where resource you're gonna be getting resource management, where we're gonna gain whatever we land on. Now these are action cards on the outside and then we're claiming cards on the inside. We're claiming either goods, which is salt, pepper, dates, and then yep. there's also some coins. Uh, or water in the expansion. Yep. Or we're getting the tribe cards and we're gonna build out a three by four 12 card grid. That's actually one of the ways to win the game. End or the game. It, to end I the mean, game. Right. You're gonna earn points from it, but ending right. the game is either you have placed your last card to complete the 12 set, or when the um, robber, robber goes, goes all the way to the 16th card. card. Yep. Uh, in the expansion, the robber has always, in the first game, uh, always moves clockwise. Now the Targia character moves counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. The Targia, if you place one of your workers where the Targia is located, they are going to allow you to get rid of one of your resource uh, resources to flip over a goods card. A goods card. And then you can take the resource shown on the card, or yep. if it's not, if you're looking for a specific resource, you can discard that card, pay another good to flip, flip over another, another card until you can find what you're looking for. Right. Or, it's a good way to dig, yes. but again, you need to be careful. Because you could burn a bunch of goods looking right. for one thing specific and not find it. Or I will say the goods that they added in this are water and coins, and they're extremely good. Mm -hmm. um, huh. The goods are good. But you'll notice that uh, over here on the left is the sand dune expansion. Mm -hmm. And what's gonna happen is one player uh, can go to each of these cards and they are extremely powerful asymmetric mm -hmm. abilities. So this one uh, basically lets you take a victory point water and your choice of a good. Mm -hmm. uh, this card here says, switch the place of two tribe cards in your display, which is important for scoring at the mm -hmm. end or switch a card in your hand with something that's in your display. So again, that's that's really nice. And then the sand dune says, take an action marker from the supply, which we got them here, and place it on a previously used card that granted a one-time advantage. You may use the card again. So there are some cards that will give Good you, one. like uh, some of them. The middle card. What? The, the middle, middle card one? So once per game, you may place one of your Tarji figures on a border card that's occupied by your opponent's Tarji. That's like really that good. One. Yeah, so that's super good. Now, these cards will only be refreshed, <laughs> refreshed, Ooh, will only be there? refreshed there when go. the Tarjia reaches the corners. However, each round we will flip one card out onto the sand dune. Mm -hmm. uh, we start with some resources. The player who most recently used pepper goes first, and I used pepper on my eggs this morning, so I get to go first. Yeah, but only because you ran out of your special safe thing. 
my everything bagel seasoning, which is life itself. It was, it was an emergency. He had to run out today to get a new bottle of it. If any of you have used everything bagel seasoning, you'll understand exactly why that is important. I've used it. It's fine, but it's not like It's life, life altering. It is life changing. Okay, I had that bottle for like months and you wouldn't touch it. And then a friend came and used it and was like, oh my gosh, you're not using this? That's true. And now he uses it. So I don't want to hear it. Oh man, I apologize for yawning. It was a long day. Uh, okay, so there are some actions on the board. I'm just gonna go over them uh, as we play the game. We'll explain mm -hmm. what they are because we'll probably use most of them. I don't want to do a super in-depth uh, rules overview. There are better people are who do how to play. I will say that when we get to the end of game scoring, mm -hmm. I will read how scoring works. I just want to mention now mm -hmm. that if you get four of the same type of card in a row, you get extra points. Mm -hmm. Or if you get four different cards in a row, you score extra points. It's yes. the only thing I'm gonna mention. Uh, other with uh, other than that, let's other than go. that, let's go. All right. So I really want this card here. So I'm going to the sand dune now. You may notice that I've placed a worker in the sand dune, which means I will have one less intersection on the main board. So I'm really only going to claim one card uh, out there right now. We do, like I said, start with some resources. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> this game is also pretty cutthroat. It can be very mean uh, with seeing where your opponent is, maybe what they're trying to claim uh, and try to cut them off. Yeah. I know you wanted that one, but just take that one. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying to remember when this game came out. I remember How I was playing it, it in South Carolina and Oh, it was out well you had before taken, then. No, you had taken forever to get it because it was like a grail game because it was out of print and then yes. shortly after you got it, it they came reprinted back out, it. Which is the story of my life. How really often is. I buy a grail game that gets reprinted. <laughs> this game can also, and Lizzie and I are pretty quick players, but even this game can induce uh, fair amounts of AP. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> wow. All right. Starting off in the first 10 minutes and we already got, already got a premeditated murder. Okay. Okay. So then simultaneously, we can place our claim markers down because you can't take somebody else's intersection. It's impossible. Uh, okay, so starting with the first player, they can resolve all of their actions however they want in any order they want, and you can abstain from taking an action. So the first thing I'll do is I'll get one water token. I will then get a uh, pepper. This is pepper. I'll come over here. I'll get one victory point. Uh, a water and my choice of something and I will grab salt <laughs> mm, yeah why do you have the yellow thing if you're not gonna use it oh I mean just questioning that's a great point honey. Okay. oh and then oh, I wanted to done? pay for this no sorry I wanted to pay for this so that is going to give it the place of the opposite kind of card, and you're going to place it face down until the start of the round. Dates and two water go back. And that's what I'm purchasing this card. Okay. With. So this guy is going to give me a date. This is going to give me date and pepper. And then this one out if you want to put a tribe there. Yep. Okay, I'm going to use the Targi Targia action yep. to trade in a date, and I'm going to get. Oh, what a good flip! I take water. Okay, this will just get discarded. Um, off the side. This one gives me salt. And yeah, I'll and let then you go through this. This one, we're gonna replace it with a good. Yep. Is going to give me a date, salt, pepper. Right here. Mm-hmm. 
And then I get to take a card card. Now, you can, if you don't want to pay for a card or you cannot pay, take it into your hand. Mm -hmm. But you can only ever have one card in your hand and it's there until you build it. If you're going to build it, well, it's in your hand. You have to go use the noble. Um, you can also go use the noble to discard a card in your hand because that's the only time you are able to get rid of it. If you drew another card and you weren't able to pay for it, you couldn't keep it. You would have to discard it because you already right. have one in hand. Right. Um, so if you draw one, decide to keep it, and then you realize, oh, that's not what I want. Right. You actually have to take an extra action to discard it. However, I will say this is a change from the base game. When you choose to discard the card, you now get a water and a good of your choice. And that is a very, mm -hmm. very good uh, change. Mm -hmm from the original game. Uh, they took a lot at heart from, I mean, again, they have years of play, play testing and developing and players playing this game. And they've taken that to heart and they've made changes to some of the actions on the board. Mm -hmm. And it really shows uh, that they've done a fantastic job with this game. Okay. So I will pass first player to you. Finally. Uh, the Targia moves one space. The no, uh, the robber moves another space. This good is gonna get flipped up. And uh, we're gonna go to you. And now, I probably won't be able to block you out. But we shall see. Hmm. Yeah, I figured. Figure that. Hmm. Mm. Dang it. You took what I wanted. I know. So. I know. And again, like the spatial aspect of this is I can't place here because Lizzie's blocking that. I can't place here because she's blocking that. So really my only option is to go here and reduce my options or go. Here or here. Honestly, yeah. Oh. Not cool, So basically dude. you're limited to Not these cool three all. cards, which are all tribes. Yeah, 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 I know. But I'm, you know what? Oh, we did not put down a sand dune oh, from the last that? round. Uh, take a tribe card marked with your tribal marker from the center and place it in your display. Instead of the cost shown, you, can, uh, you only have to pay one water. Hmm. Well, that changes things drastically. So, uh, and I really need these resources, but you locked me out of them. Oh, you've locked me out of all these resources. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. Um... So put our markers down. That was well played. That was uh, that okay, was so really good. I'm gonna good. take a coin. I'm going to take two water for this one. Yep. Okay. So that was a good, mm -hmm. good tribe. And I also get another one. I really here. like how it, things change. Like if it was a good, it's a tribe. If it's a tribe, it was a good. Like that really keeps. Okay, I'm it's going just such to a, a good uh, mechanism. Okay. So it's a date, a pepper, a salt. When you use the function of the Targia, you may take one water instead of one good. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so one of the other things is. You could pay, you don't have to. You mm -hmm. could just take a good of your choice. Those mm -hmm. are the two things. Um, just to double double confirm the Targia for you. So the Targia functions, basically it says, uh, you, you return a good of your choice and take the top card, or you get a good token of your choice from the supply. So then that allows you to take water instead of a good token. Mm -hmm. That's pretty solid. Um, and You're then... also at the Targia, so you get her ability. So you could just take one good of your choice. Oh yeah, totes. Yeah. Which is really good because it can yes. allow you to. Um, and then I decided I, I built the card I drew, so I'm not going to discard that, I, and I don't have the stuff to build it. So. So you don't want to discard it. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'll get a salt. Uh, I'll get a, <laughs> another salt. Rolling in the salt right now. I'll trade in two salts for a victory point. Right. Yeah. I will pay a water for this using my. Oh, I didn't you grab didn't go it. There. You have to use goods. Dang it. 
Unless you want to put it in your hand. Hold on. Let me pay for this first and then see what I can do. Do you have a coin? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll pay a coin. I'll pay a pepper and a salt. Uh, at the end of the game, you receive two victory points for one of your completed rows for which you would otherwise receive zero. So that's fine. It's not great, but whatever. Um, and then I can't pay for this, so I will take it into my hand because it is a permanent uh, action that says when you use the noble action to play a card instead of gold, you can pay water and a good of your choice to build that card. So that's mm -hmm. pretty solid. I like that. So we're going to move those. We will flip. Did we move them? I just moved them. Okay, so they're... Almost to that raid then. Not quite. So in this game, or in this version with the expansion, the raids are different. In the first game, it was just a good of your choice. Now they are specific goods or victory points. Correct. So the first raid is pepper. The second raid is salt and date. And the Third is one, one of everything. each. Which is a great, and I would mention that earlier when we were playing. I love that it now is a specific resource because mm -hmm. that really forces players to be like, okay. It's coming up. I more need resource to pay management. attention. And I'm now first player. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go to where the Targia is. Mm hmm Hmm, hold on a second. Where you place? You can't Sorry. just change your mind. I can, because you hadn't placed yet. I was like moving to do it. I didn't see where you were going to go. I didn't see where you were going to go, but I just realized I can't build the card that it was going to take. So in that case, I will do that instead. Okay, now you can go. Oh, I can't because you're already there. Ah, that's an... Uh... Solid. Mm -hmm. So I get that one. Okay. Did you place all your people? Yeah, you no. Did. Well, yeah, because I yeah, yeah okay. I missed one. So watering hole gives me one water. Water. Uh, I'm also gonna do the Targia's ability and take. Mm, I don't really know. I'll take a D. Um. Then I'll do. I'm not gonna take this action. I will oh, yeah, I that pay for this. Bad. So I'm going to use the two water payment mm -hmm. uh, with a salt mm -hmm. to pay for that one mm -hmm. and place it on the third bottom. Uh, then I'm going to use the sand dune ability that says uh, I can actually switch a card in your hand for a card in your display, carry out the action of the card from your hand like normal. I'm going to put this. I'm gonna swap these two out. So I'm swapping the palm trees mm -hmm. with the, I guess it's like a pyramid. And now when I use the noble card to play a card from my hand, instead of gold, I can do water and a good of my choice. Mm. So, cause gold is pretty difficult to come by in this game. It's pretty, pretty hard to find. What? What do you mean instead of gold? Oh. oh, like if it has gold on it would the card. Be, you would, it would substitute be it for a good and a... Correct. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it, got it. Okay, so... Oh, sorry. That was a tribe, so it should mm -hmm. be a good. So I'm taking a pepper. That needs to become a tribe. Yep. So that is two dates. Two dates? Wow. And then another date. Yep. And this one, it's going to become a good. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do a date... That was a tribe card, right? Yes. And two water. I wish that had a dual cost. <laughs> yeah, so now not all of the tribe cards have dual costs. Some of them do, so, some of them don't. I'm just going to discard it. I'm going to take a salt. So you're going to use your noble action? And water, yep. Okay. So you're discarding that. I'll take it. Just throw it here. Well, um, I'm collecting the goods over here. Fine. Um, so I get this. 
Mm -hmm. These moves. So the Targia uh, wipes the, the sand dune and puts I three new ones out. I paid my pepper for the raid. Do you have a pepper? I do have a pepper. I was holding on to, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and read the new sand dune cards. <laughs> Uh, place two water in the supply and then place the sand dune card in your display like a tribe card. At the end of the game, you decide what the symbol is. That <laughs> is awesome. Is it's a wild. So you pay two water to place it like, mm -hmm. a, like a tribe card and then you get to pick what it is at the end of the game. That is awesome. That is pretty great. Next one is two victory points. Solid. And oh, this is a good one. Use the action of the border card where the robber is and the one across from it. So the robber actually always, like, they actually always move. They don't stop there. They stop there and move, move to the next one. They do? Yeah, that's why the arrow is there. So there's not 16 rounds? There's way less? Uh, I'm pretty sure that they always immediately move. No, that's telling you which direction. No. I'm gonna call a audible. I need you to read that to me. Yeah, to make you. Because that's not that how too. we played it last time. Yeah, it was. No, was it? It was. No, I was moving them like that. It's fine. I will double check. I will double check. Um, this is the nitty gritty of playing games. Uh, hold on, raid. When the robber is on a raid card, players must pay what is shown. Beginning with the first player, each player must choose to lose goods or victory points, losses, or return to the supply. The robber then moves to the next border card, and play continues. The numbers are there just to show you in what order they're supposed to be placed. So it's not 16 rounds, it's uh, 12 rounds. I know. Yeah. We have been playing like that. You just haven't noticed that I've always been moving them to the next card. Yeah. It's always been that way. You mean this you want 16 actions I and not do. 12 actions? I do, yes, obviously. Okay, so okay. this yep. lets you use that and that now. Okay. Okay. All right, TV timeout. Now we're back in. We're good. Okay, okay. I want that sand dune, the one at the bottom. Oh, fine. Well, I'm obviously taking the two-point sand dune. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, oh, I could place it for you. Well, it's a little late. You saw me struggling, and then only after I placed it were you like, oh, <laughs> I guess I could help you. All right, I need to beef up on some resources, but I'm trying to figure out how to do that. sand dune card. You do. So you have to pay two water for it. I do. I have two water. Also remember you can't have more than 10 of a good at One, the two, end. Three, well, four, I mean like five, but you're going to pre-close water. You got a lot over there. I not remember that rule. Yeah. You can't have unlimited amounts. Well, it's not unlimited. Get place two water in the supply. That's not matter. Do whatever you want to be. Well, I know, but what do I think I'm going to be buying? Can I take my turn? Salt, um, pepper. I'm gonna use the Targia's ability to grab a date. Um, and then over here, that's just gonna get discarded because I can't, can't take it because I already have one in my hand. So just discard it off the side. Um, Why not put it over there with the other one? Oh, yeah, good point. So then that becomes a good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can flip it because we're done. Yeah. And the water. You're first. I am the first move. player. So we get one new sand dune card. Ooh. Where I'm going.
Oh no! Ugh. Fine, I'm gonna stop you from doing that. Hmm. Fine, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so my intersection is nothing. I just get actions this turn, so I'm gonna get dates. I'm going to get water and a coin. And then I get to use this, which lets me use the robbers, which gives me pepper. And then I also get to use the tribal expansion. So flip this over. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pay not three dates because I need those dates. So I'll spend the coin. See, it has print. Oh, but if I spend. If you spend three dates, you get the extra uh, thing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spend the three dates. So this That's is another new four. one. Four. So it's worth four victory points if you pay what's in the parentheses. And uh, you saw me play the parentheses, so I don't remember what you're supposed to do to. Oh, I think you're supposed to immediately gain those victory points. That's how you remember you get them. Why don't you put them on the card so okay. we know? That's fine. Yeah, so that's been paid. Uh huh. And then I'm going to use this to move here. So I'll go ahead and just put those on the card. The Pippa. One, okay, so two. Okay, so I'm going to for this one. And I receive one date, one salt, one pepper, one water. What? That's amazing. One of everything. Wow. Well, not a coin, though. Okay. One of um, so almost everything. Go. Yeah, obviously. Okay. And then you can also take this and do. So you got two tribe salt. cards? You did. And a pepper. And then once per game, when using the Fata Morgana, you may move both of my charm markers. Wow, Fata Morgana there. That's solid. Okay, well, you're first. Oh, Sand Dune. Take, the, take one unoccupied tribe card of your choice from the center area and place it in your display if you pay the cost. Or you can place it in your hand if you do not yet have a card in your hand. So you can basically just play something out of the center area, but there's only one <laughs> right now. So we're gonna get a lot of resources, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I have the wrong thing in my hand. That's, uh, that's a tribal market. Well, I know, but like, you understand <laughs> that I wasn't like trying to cheat or anything. No, I know. It mean, it would. I would notice it. It's fine. Okay. So here and here. Okay. Your first. So I'm going to do can you get salt, date, salt, date? Salt. Date, salt date. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't need oh, this. Oh, sorry. I need you I to meant do it. To... Yeah, I got it. Get a tribe card out there. Uh, so then I'm going to do this. Nope, tribe. I know, but it was upside down. It was bugging me. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing the tribe expansion. Oh, you also hit a big one. So she can pay three salts plus a coin and get four victory points. But is it worth it? Is she going to have enough? to do what she needs for this one. But you could take one of those cards into your hand, right? Because you don't have anything? What? You don't have anything in your hand right now? I yeah. can take one in my hand, yeah? Yeah. This says, if you would receive salt from a border card, you may take dates or pepper instead. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Yeah, and so next one I'm gonna have, I'm gonna need salt and dates. Right, that's why I'm holding it. Or trying to get, that's why I needed to get dates this round. No, not it's right now. You need the salt and dates. It happens immediately. I know, but like, yeah. it could. I don't think this thing was hoping I would get something else, and I did not. Um. Oh, because it also doesn't match what you're trying yeah. to do. 
Oh. So, and if I got well, that one. You might as well just try to go for four of a kind up top then. No, I want to, yeah, four of a kind, but like I can't take both of them, is what I'm saying. So, so which one goes in your play area? Which one goes to your hand? Yeah, I get it. I'm going to do this one for three and one. Okay. And, and then, then I will take that one take and I'll just hands. have to, yeah, okay. discard so it at another date. Card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a water. I get a coin. I get a salt. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this to get a date because off of the Targia character. And then I will use this noble ability to build this from my hand. Um, where do I wanna discard it? Actually, I wanna discard it. So I will discard that card to get a good of my choice. What did I do? I oh, I took the noble action. Uh, to get a water. Here, I got it. Hold on. So I put three back and then I get one. And a good of my choice. And I will take another date. Just to have a little bit of extra. Okay. Okay. So, then they so, move. so they move. So um, I have a date. This gets and refreshed salt. completely. I'll do that in one second. And I have to pay a date and a salt. And the next uh the next sand dune cards we have are Use the action of any border card of your choice and get a good of your choice, regardless of whether the card is occupied by a figure or not. So that basically lets you get around something like that. Ooh, Sand Dune is a gold and a resource of your choice. And this is use the Targia's function and also get a victory point. All three of those are really good. And I am the first player. So, I'm going here. Intersection here. Oh. Hang on. What happened? No. Can I? Yeah. I just yeah, realized that's, fine. that's pepper and a that's coin. Fine. I didn't have a coin. I thought it, for some reason I was thinking water. That was your last um, place anyway, so I'm talking about. You've got Fata Morgana available. No, I, or... I don't. Oh, the robbers are. I'm sorry. Salt, pepper. Mm -hmm. Or a sand dune. So the Targia function and a victory point. Oh, this is my what you want. My this might be what you want to use. It uses any of the borders, regardless of someone's there, and you get a, uh, a good of your choice. Yeah, I'll go there. To the top one. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this sand dune, which gives me a coin and a good of my choice. I'm going to take a date. Um, I'm gonna take a water. I'm going to take pepper. And then I'm going to pay for this card. And I'm going to pay a gold coin. No, I'll pay water. Two water, a date, and pepper. And that's salt right and date. Let me take those two guys off. And then give me that yep. one. So I can use the trader. And I can do three. For a gold coin? For a gold. Yep. And I believe you can do this multiple times. Yes, it is. Yes. And I can also trade two water. Yep, for a gold coin. For a gold. And then ah, also I'm, get I'm gonna, your choice. You get one. Oh, and of your I also choice. get. I'm gonna take another salt. No, yes. And then I'm gonna take this, 
And I'm going to pay a pepper in a coin. Okay. At the end of the game, the victory points printed on the cards to the left are doubled. Wow. Okay. That's, only that's pretty good. But I mean, I have a complete row. That's four points of itself. Mm-hmm. I'm almost wondering, wouldn't doubling four to eight be worth more? Well, it'd be ten. And it's cards to the left. I don't know. It's oh, wait, wait, I need one of each kind. That's why right. I was. Th you're not right. to like help you out, no, but like I'm also right. like I did not. I feel like that. you'd probably be bummed Thank if you, you were like seeing that later. You're right. Thank you. No, you're totally right. Okay. Not to tell you, not to man's. I knew I like it meant to put it there, and then I was like, no, it matches there, and then I was like, wait. But I also know we both have parenting brains, so <sighs> things can get overlooked. You can. Uh, okay, so Robert Targia, you become the first player. Yes. We get a new sand dune. Ooh, I love this one. Pull a card from the tribe discard pile and place it in your display Display if you can pay the cost or place it into your hand. So you can take something that was previously discarded, which we've got a couple options there. I want that one. To take uh, yeah. that, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go here. Thank you. Go to the top, Noble. The Noble? Mm -hmm, so. Uh, I'm gonna go here. So here. And you're first player, right? Okay, so give me the sand dune one. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And which of these cards do you want? Oh, you wanna finish out your set? Well, I can take this one or this one. Let me think about it. Can I read them? Really yeah, quick? yeah, go for it. Um, so this is too salt and too date, which would pretty much wipe me out. I need to do better at building. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do two salt and two date. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna do that, which is going to give me pepper and salt. And then I'm going to discard this for a water and a date. Okay. And then you're going to flip the top tribal card. And hope that I can pay for it, yep. Which you can, but it messes up your system if you keep it. But I don't need it, so I can just mm -hmm. you can hang just on put to it, in your it hand. here. Okay, oh, that comes off. All right, so watering hole for me mm -hmm. gives me a water. Uh, this lets me use the Targius function, plus gets a victory point. So I'm going to use the Targius function to flip the top good card. And I'm going to keep that card. I do have to discard something. So I'll discard a uh, pepper. Mm -hmm. So I get a date. That's perfect because I now need to pay for this. <laughs> and I did not have the double dates and... The double dates. The double dates. Double dates. Can I get one water back, please? I suppose. Um, and then you took a... Yeah, so I took a tribe. Really and now we'll just go ahead and... Uh, it. Yep, flip them over. I become first okay, player. This moves here. This moves here. All right. Ooh, turn over the top two good cards from the draw pile and take whatever is shown there. Okay, are you first? I am the first player. I'm missing a... Oh. First one that you did not take. It's so difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna do this first. Uh, flip over two of these and get what's on them. A water. And a salt. Should okay. I say some salt? Some Instead salt? Saying a salt. A bag of salt. A know. bowl of salt. And then I'm going to grab. Remember you need to have one of each at yep. the end of this. Exactly. Which I do have one of each. So I get three salt. So a tribe needs to go there. 
And then a coin. So oh. another tribe. Yep, a tribe she needs to go there as well. Where? This one, the coin. Okay. Uh -huh. Please, please do something I need. I do not. Oh, I could use that though. Make one unoccupied display sand dune card. Or the top card I say new. Yeah, and those are immediate effects. So when it's when it's played, you do it. Man. What's up? Oh, you're just trying to think if you want it or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you already have one in your hand, so you'd have to discard it. I'm just saying those doubled points are really gonna like negate the four. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I might as well because this is gonna take. Yeah. It's gonna give me the top dune card. Yeah. Oh, that's what it does. Take one unoccupied displayed sand dune card or nope. the top card oh, or the top from card. The, the draw pile and place it face up next to your display. You may use it during any round without having to place one of your target on it. Discard Ooh, it once I use that's it. That's amazing. So. Um, oh, and of course. Oh, hey, I of don't course have to use it right now. Bad. I want to show it to the camera. Okay, I, didn't, I thought double, you were like going to take it away or something. Double water is good of your choice. I want to no, wait until I it need away. it. And then... So you, you did... Oh, you haven't done either of those. No, I just did this one. No, oh. I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. That's how you got that. That's yes. how you got that. Yeah, 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 I did. Um, And then... You're not giving you more tribes. Jeez, you're already killing me right now. You know what? I'm going to do it because I think... Kind of boxing you out by ending the game. Oh, you definitely are. I'm would not give doing me more well. Points. I'm not doing well. All right, pay for everything. One of everything, or one of each. Salt, pepper, dates. I do like to get like the perfect rose and everything, so not having right, the perfect rose is kind of Triple water, uh, point and two resources, or one of every resource and your choice of your resource. So that's nice. And you go first. Oh, she should have moved there. She have moved. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what I can do there. Not much. Okay, so this one and this one, you go first. No, I get two dates. From what? This oh, and that. Okay. So this becomes all the time. Tribe. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this one. Yep. See if I like this better. End you know, of the game. The victory point printed on the cards placed to the right. You got another of those doubles. A double, but I, I, it would be the very last card, so it really wouldn't help me at all. Oh, to the right of yeah. them. Oh, that one's to the right. Okay. And that is. That's cool though. Terrible. It's up to you. No, I want. I don't want it because this one would give me more points because it's two dates and a coin. Okay. And it says at the end of the game, you will receive one victory point for each vertical column that has three different symbols. And so I have two of those. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? Oh my gosh! You killed me. I don't. What was I doing this game? I don't know. Clearly not playing the game. I was clearly not playing at all. Um. Wow. And I. Oh, I can take two water. I'll It'd use the Fade Morgana to move that up. I'll get my date and my salt. My goodness, you just ridiculously destroyed me this game. I'll get a pepper. Uh, then I will pay for this. I will pay um, just a gold coin. I don't think gold's worth anything. Well, just in case it is, I'll pay 
all my resources because I know resources aren't worth anything. Holy mackerel, you killed me. Uh, that needs to be that. And I think that was that, but that's the end because you have your 12, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so going into final scoring, we're gonna pull out the handy dandy rule book and uh, let's see what we got here. Game ends at the end of a turn where at least one player filled in 12. Yep. If it was the first player, I get to take my turn. The game ends. Yep. Okay. Players then proceed to final scoring. Some tribe cards are worth bonus victory points. Finally, players check to see if they score bonus points for rows of the same or four different. Uh, you get four points, like we mentioned earlier, for uh, four of the same or two points for four different. And uh, let's see. The winner, the player with the most points is the winner. In case of a tie, the winner is the player with the most gold. If there's still a tie, the one with the most goods wins. This is not gonna be close. You absolutely decimated me this game. But you are so much better at resource management games than I am. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 19 and six is 25. And then every two waters worth of victory point. So that's another, so 26 points. I don't think anything else is worth victory points at the end. Is this the expansion? No. Oh, hold on a second. I wasn't reading the expansion. The dummy. Water. Pretty sure every two waters worth of victory point. I thought I read that somewhere. Are you making that yeah, up? no, it's right here. Um, I think I saw it somewhere. Well, I need you to. It doesn't matter because you killed me. It's one less point for me, so it doesn't matter. How many points do you have? I have twenty-six. Well, with or without this? Without that. I think it's thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. So without that, I had that twenty-five. How many would you have had if water was worth a point? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay. So like ten point, ten That's point difference. Bad. Eh, that's a lot in this game. Well, this I... game's really tight. It's a lot. I only look at. I only got seven cars. I, I don't even know what I was doing. Like, oh my gosh! I clearly you was had not. You a ton of victory points. I used a lot of the sand dunes. I did you use did. a lot of the sand dunes. So that meant you so were missing an action. Every I was missing an intersection every round. every round. I was missing an intersection. So those but I liked strong... what I was getting. I liked what I, I was know. getting. I really, really, really love this expansion. Honestly, like, yeah. yeah, you killed me, but I will never play Targi without this expansion now. With the updated mm -hmm. action cards, yes, with like the those. Sand Dune, the new tribes, the whole new tribe deck. Mm -hmm. With extra this powers. This is, just buy it. If you like Targi, buy the expansion because yes. it's just makes the game even better. It does. It really elevates the gameplay. They fix just, I mean, like those couple just things. Just little things. Um, making the raids uh, specific. I like the tribes that have the extra powers. I got to use some of those. Oh, they man, like the. They're so good though, too. And a lot of them tie into like using specific actions, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I really like the, the, the overpayment for more points. I think and that's really nice. And the ones nice. that have like the double payment where you can use water in yes. exchange instead yes. of just the Things good. like this where yes. you can use alternate. Yeah, when well, really you have two different choices. I like that a lot. It feels like there's a little bit more room to, to maneuver, mm -hmm. whereas the original was very, very good, but also very specific, you, mm -hmm. you know, like that's all you needed. And, and then this, you can out if you are going for something and it gets blocked and you're just like, oh, yeah. there's really nothing else I want. Right. You can pop over you can there pop over and here. get something that's really going to help you in a future Absolutely. round. Absolutely. Instead yeah. of like kind of wasting your turn and being like, okay, I guess I'm going to. I will say though, my, my two favorite parts about the game mm -hmm. are the updated noble card where discarding your card gives you water and a good of your choice. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I really like the Chargia, where she gives you a, a, a basically a wild good. She gives you whatever mm -hmm. you want. Or you can flip on the goods cards and mm -hmm. you might hit something cool. Like you might hit gold or you might hit the water or the the victory point one, right? Like you just don't know. And that's just kind of the pressure luck. So it's like a kind of a re-implementation of the 13 card, which before was flip a goods and yes. take it. So they added the water and then they yep. added the Targia so you're not losing that I need a random good. Right, for the sure random, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. But I like that it's now on a rotating character. That they're going opposite. Right, Oh, right. that she's moving around. Well, now that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of have to chase there. A little bit. And it can change where bit. you, what you get in the middle. But honestly, like, mm -hmm. this this feels really good. Getting the tribal and a flip on it, that Would just feels nice. why yeah, I but did. but that's only one, one chance. Right. 
yeah. Either way, really like this game. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Even though it was not close, I still had a lot of fun. I mean, we didn't realize it till the end when I was like, oh, I could build this. And oh, totally. I knew I was at a disadvantage when I realized I, pe I peeked over and looked at how many cards you had. And I was like, I can't, I can't keep up. See, so. I didn't realize it till I had three left. And I so was like, So don't oh. do what I did. Make sure you're keeping up. In a two player game, when there's only one other opponent, it's extremely important that you keep an eye on them. There's your lesson. Thank you for joining us at Table for Two. We hope you enjoyed this and we will catch you next time. See ya. Bye.